Everybody, welcome. You're hanging out with Ben. This is the Hardcore Punk Project here on the X, 92.5 FM in Kamloops. A blend of hard rock, punk, and metal, Dead Wolf set themselves apart from other bands with their take on the new wave of heavy rock and roll. Recommended for fans of Judas Priest, Motorhead, and Wasp, Dead Wolf's is a revival of foot-tapping, beer-drinking, head-banging tunes, and more. They are touring in support of their latest self-release debut EP, released digitally by Boonsdale Records, and on cassette via Metal Assault Records. Today we have Tommy Wolf on bass and vocals. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, uh, thanks for having me, buddy. Uh, how are you doing today? Uh, doing pretty good. I'm actually just on vacation. I'm just out in uh, PEI before we uh, had on on tour. So, yeah, just hanging out, you know, mm -hmm. going to the beach, getting all that fun stuff in before uh, we drive out to uh, BC and make that nice four-day-long drive. So, can't wait to be in a car for 45 hours. <laughs> all right. Uh, first off, are you okay with the teen interviewing you? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. All right. Uh, we'll be talking about the songs on the self-titled EP and a few other subjects. Okay. How would you describe your band to someone who has never heard you before? Uh, heavy rock and roll. I mean, if you're a fan of... If you're a fan of, like, 80s heavy metal, if you're a fan of, like, Motorhead shit, you know tunes like that you know you, you put it pretty good at the start you know that bit of you know punk hard rock heavy metal so i mean if you're into that then you'll be into us all right um how would you describe your band as a food as a food yeah oh, fuck um Never, never been asked that before. Um, easy to swallow. Okay. Uh, now, of course, you're on tour. How has that been so far? Uh, well, we're not on tour at the moment. We go on tour uh, at the end of June, um, but we're looking forward to it. We've got a, you know, strong string of dates lined up, and it's looking to be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, who are you touring with? We'll be touring with our friends out in uh, Vancouver, Rebel Priest. They're the same kind of like heavy rock and roll. They um, they just released uh, a couple singles off their upcoming uh, EP, Lesson in Love. So, yeah, definitely check that out. Yeah, I'm interviewing them tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Cool, cool. Um, I see that you'll be in Kamloops, which is where I am on June 28th at Pogue Mahones. Will this be your first time in Kamloops? Um, it would have been. Unfortunately, I just got news today that the Kamloops show, uh, at least at Pogue uh, Mahones, ha uh, just dropped today. So that oh. show is no longer booked as of right now, but we're going to try and book something else in Kamloops. Um, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. <laughs> uh, the only place I know is the Blue Grotto. Blue Grotto, eh? okay. Yeah. Make sure I'm a show. Appreciate that. Okay. Um, the first song on there is Walking on Nails. So who or what inspired this one? Um, that's, just a, that's just a tune about, uh, you know, going out on a... Uh, Going out on a weekend and uh, maybe getting in some trouble, you know, just walking on nails. Mm. That's about all you can really sum it up to. All right. Ten minutes in a room alone with one of your biggest musical influences. Who would it be and what would you talk about? Um, who would it be? Well, I mean, I don't know. My, uh, probably, probably Sting of the police. And just talk about certain um, certain live shows of theirs and uh, just have a couple beers. All right. Now, the same artist, if they were to cover one of your songs, which one would you want it to be? Um, <laughs> probably Walking on Nails. <clears throat> All right. Uh, second song is Double Up. Which one can you tell? What have? What can you tell us about this one? Uh, it's 
pretty pretty straightforward just a song about uh just gambling you know and, you know gambling addiction so it's pretty pretty straightforward uh which female artist would you collaborate with and why um probably one of the runaways just because they were in the runaways or um uh any of girl school because you know girl school rips so yeah all right um <clears throat> how long have you been true to this style of music oh, on and off my whole life uh your dream tour who would it be and with who what where would it be and with who um i really think touring with midnight would be super cool you know um midnight's uh great bands uh put on an amazing live show and uh just you know north america touring the states is always cool uh obviously going over to europe just touring there in general that's kind of the dream so yeah going over there would be right on all right um, the second, the third song is Pedal to the Metal. This song just about going speeding or something? Uh, yeah, it's just a song about, um, general heartbreak and just kind of, um, just getting away from it. Okay. Hmm. The weirdest venue you have ever played at? The weirdest venue? Yeah. Um, I'd say just, you know, just small venues, really. Um, Played at like a taco, uh, taco place. I've played at the back of a pizza place. You know, just like weird, weird places like that, right? All right. Um, the weirdest gift you have ever received. Weirdest gift? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know, dude. Um. Maybe empty beer bottles. I, I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, the weirdest thing that, that has ever happened to you while performing? Uh, just, you know, the usual shit. You know, sometimes you get spit at or, you know, like people throw shit at you. Um, but nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary. All right. Um... This is all just going to be about weird questions just for a few times. Um, what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Fish eyeball. Yeah. Dang, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Hmm. Must have been good then. Uh, the fourth song is Wanted Man. Is this one about a true event, perhaps? Uh, no, that's about my bankruptcy. Uh, ah. you know, stiffing the CRA for cash, CRA coming after you, garnishing your wages, shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, if you were to get your name in the paper, what would it, um, what would it be for? Nothing illegal, of course. Um, probably most slices of pizza eaten at one time. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you were a superhero, what would your name be and what would your powers be? Um, I'd probably be the librarian and my superpower would be I could sort and file at lightning speeds alphabetically. All right. Given that great thought. Now, um, what would each band member's nickname be if they were one of the seven dwarves? Um... I I can think of like two of the seven dwarves names, um, but I I really don't know the seven dwarves names, so I can't really uh, answer that. Fair enough, that's okay. If you could put something in a time capsule that would not be opened for thirty years, what would it be and why? Um. Probably just a, just like a note, 
just trying to fuck with people. Hmm. You know, practical jokes, right? Yeah. Um, if you had two minutes to address all the world leaders, what would you say and why? Um, lower gas prices because you're bleeding and fucking dry. Thank hmm. you. <laughs> all right. Um, how would you describe your band as a dessert? That should be easier. Um, uh, I don't know. I like cheesecake, and I think cheesecake is pretty right on. So if you like cheesecake, you'll also think we're pretty right on. All right. <laughs> um, well, this is the last question that I ask all the bands I've interviewed, which is a lot. I don't even know how many. All right. <laughs> Will you accept a challenge from me? Uh, sure. <laughs> All right. The challenge is a cover of the song That's the Way I Like It by Casey and the Sunshine Band in your style, uploaded to YouTube. Um, Copying all the dance moves, too. I can guarantee you that's not going to happen because... <laughs> my anxiety would have none of that so <laughs> fair enough fair enough nothing to worry about i uh, do appreciate that well it looks like that's all the questions i have so uh thanks for uh joining me here on the x tommy stay safe be well yeah you too hey thanks for having me no problem good chatting with you all right